everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the sound system demo of the 14 speaker Bose audio system in the new 2020 Corvette. This is going to be an in-depth review of this audio system. I'm going to listen to some sample tracks, check out speaker locations, get out on the road, listen to those tracks while we're moving, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. So before we get started, let's hop out and take a quick look at this vehicle. This is a 2LT package, non-Z51 Corvette Stingray, coming in at just around $72,000. So it sure is a performance bargain, and really a bargain on all sorts of things. I mean, you get the striking looks, the spirited, aggressive driving, the extreme capabilities, even some good usability. So if you want to see more on this car, check the link in the description for our full review. But for now, let's get on with some speaker locations. So this is the upgraded 14 speaker Bose audio system, aside from the 10 speaker system that's offered in the 1LT cars. And the speakers are a little bit hard to find. Typically we just count speaker grills, but because of the unique build of the Corvette, I'm gonna point out to you where they're all located. So you've got one, two, and you've actually got three, four in the door, woofers. They're either, yeah, they're like right here. There's also some speakers back here. You can just barely see there's a grill right there. So there's one, two, three, four. It's actually five right here in the door. And then up here you've got six, seven, eight up front, nine, 10, 11 on that door, 12, 13, and then 14 right there in the middle. So it's a pretty comprehensive system. So we always do these tests with uncompressed WAV audio files on a USB drive plugged directly into the system and binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic sound system experience on YouTube. We always also do these sound system tests with the audio settings set to their factory defaults. So in here we've got bass, mid-range, and treble. Let's demo those now. For other sound settings, you got your standard front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. And then sound modes, you've got normal, driver, and center point. The driver is going to focus sound right here on the driver, and center point is going to create a little bit of a holistic 3D surround sound experience, kind of Bose's surround nomenclature. I'm not a huge fan of center point, but for certain music like this kind of song, driver actually sounds pretty good. Puts the music right in front of me, it sounds very crisp and direct. For other music like rock, it doesn't sound as good. It's better to have kind of a full car experience. For audio controls in the Corvette, you've got a volume knob kind of far up here, sort of out of the way, but it does have nice clicks to it, even if it does feel a little cheap compared to some of the other elements in the cabin. You've also got volume buttons on the steering wheel there. For track selection, you can either use the touch screen as I was doing, or track selection buttons right here. No sort of physical track select button. Not a big deal, works nicely. For audio inputs, you've got quite a few. You've got your standard AM, FM, Sirius, XM, satellite radio, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto support. And you also have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, USB-A, USB-C, and an SD card slot. Although that might be used for mapping software. It's not the performance data SD card though, because that is housed in there. So what are you missing? Well, you don't have a CD player, but that's not too common to see here in 2020, so I'm not too surprised. On top of all that, there are some built-in streaming services such as Spotify, so you can log in with your Spotify info and stream directly right from there using the Corvette's 4G LTE connection. Okay, with all that said, let's get on the road. We're gonna drive around here in tour mode so that the engine is the least intrusive. As good as that V8 sounds, 
might not want it when we're trying to jam out the music. highway speeds here, which you can get a sound impression at 70. So, not too bad in here, but there is still a good amount of ambient noise. You just hear a lot from the tires, even though they're all seasons. You hear a good amount of just road noise in general through the glass and everything as well. So, not much engine noise. This engine really is pretty refined and quiet. At these speeds, I mean, at 70, we're doing, what, 1,400 RPM, so not an issue from there, but it does make the listening experience a little less good just because of all that noise you have to fight through. A lot of systems struggle with this song. So, listening to it here, a lot of the sounds are coming through, nothing is too harsh. It doesn't have the crispness and individuality of a high end like Bowers and Wilkins or um, what else handles this, Bang and Olufsen or Mark Levinson. Those systems can really parse out every single instrument, kind of give them their own place in the car. 
But for what this car is, it doesn't sound too bad. Let's shift on over here. One more face test. Especially considering what it's in. We're talking a two-seat sports car here. These aren't often known for their audio systems. Usually it's more of a luxury car sort of thing. But it really does sound pretty decent. There's no music that it falters on, and that's pretty impressive. It doesn't have the full range, highest highs and lowest lows of a real premium luxury audio system. But for what this car is, and kind of the price point and everything, it, it does a really good job. And, and both systems have a tough time kind of getting to that eight or above mark, but I think this car warrants an eight, maybe even eight and a half, because this audio system is so easy to use. The Chevrolet, uh, what do they call this? I'm blanking on the name of the audio system, but the controls all work really well. The response time is good. It looks good. It's intuitive. My USB drive's easy to use, all that good stuff. So objectively, I'm going to say 8.5 on the 14 speaker Bose performance system. Subjectively, for performance cars like this, I'm going to say about a 9. It's really good considering the, the format of the vehicle, the loudness coming through. Bose did a good job. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope this gave you a good impression of the Bose audio system here in the Corvette. If you liked the video, please hit that subscribe button. Check out our other Corvette content as well as all of our reviews. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, Drive on.